Good morning, everyone. Clarissa here, and welcome to my first ride along. Today is Monday, and we are going to go do a little side hustling today. Um, I've had some major changes in my life over the past couple weeks, and I've decided to just make some major changes myself to to start focusing more on the content online here and to go from there. So let's get moving. So it's about eight o'clock um, in the morning. I'm running way further behind than I wanted to today for my first day on a ride along. Um, so if you're curious about what I'm doing, this ride along is like, it's I'm not like riding along with everybody. You guys are gonna ride along with me. So I have um, decided to embrace self-employment and start working for myself because I've learned so much about myself over the past few years that <sighs> employers just really aren't there for you. The only person that's really gonna be there for you is yourself. So I'm really taking it upon myself to make these changes, um, to live a better and more healthier life because um, not just physically, because I've done a lot of office work um, physically it's taken a toll on my body, but mentally it's taken a toll on my body. So I, I'm really striving to make these changes because I think it's going to be for the better. I think a huge factor of what's kind of changed my mindset and what's kind of changed a lot of people's mindset, um, really occurred probably when the pandemic happened. And that's pretty common when you have like, um, a, a major world change or something, you know? So for it to impact people differently. Some people, I think it just made them stupider, but <laughs> other people, I think they actually, it, they actually took, took the situation and learned from it. And I think that's kind of what I did. Back in 2019, I was working for the same employer. It wasn't a terrible employer, but the pay was crap. And you know, it really wasn't the ideal situation. I was stuck in a cubicle all day. So it wasn't like my dream job. Yeah, can I get a sausage egg and Swiss croissant sandwich? And a large uh, chocolate frosty chino. Hi there, seven fifteen. Sorry. <laughs> Shove your card out just a second. The last employer I had was probably the worst experience I've ever had in my life. So I really just had to get out of the whole nine to five grind and doing the day after day, monotonous, you know, I said that wrong, I think. The longest, the longest employer I actually worked for was about seven and a half years. I actually started there when I was 15. Um, and that was for Wendy's. So yes, I still love Wendy's even though I work there. Um, but I had a good experience working for Wendy's. Um, it was not a bad experience at all but what I liked about it was it was flexible you know I got along with the staff I was in management um, of course not when I was 15 but as I got older as soon as I turned 18 I got offered a management position so I did that um, until my son my son went into kindergarten and I thought oh my gosh my kids are in school or my kid is in school at the time uh, I need to have that I need to have that day job I need to go to work when they go to school and that's going to be life. I went to college for office administration, which is the most boring, easy stuff I've ever learned in my life and uh, started doing office work and started with doing like an accounting and HR and um, assisting there and then working my way eventually to government. Um, government office work and then um, where I just last left uh, property management and I've been doing this oh my gosh so office work in total probably for 10 12 years something like that um, I did take a couple breaks uh, one when I had my daughter I did go back to college uh, but I still worked full-time and now I have my bachelor's in psychology. Um, however, I'm not using it, <laughs> as you can see. Psychology um, is a very important, I think, degree to get, but I think that it doesn't get the credit that's due to it. 
Um, a lot of people are curious about psychology, but they don't, they don't necessarily have the tools or the personality to be like a therapist or a counselor. Like they just want to learn about it. And so there's like other fields, like you could do research or, or something else other than counseling with a psychology degree. So keep that in mind. I choose not to use mine at this time because I'm not at a point in life where I want to be like, I don't want to counsel. That's something I knew that I never wanted to do. I didn't want to counsel people. Although with what I do as a medium, if you didn't know, we'll go on detail on that here soon. A lot of it is the same tactics, the same empathy type strategies um, that therapists use. So I've, I've learned a lot that also helps me in the paranormal field too, which I'm, I'm so grateful for. So over the years, another thing I did try some of is working from home, which I actually really enjoyed. So um, when COVID hit, my kids obviously were at home for school and my employer let us go home to work from home. It was great. I loved it. Like I could, I could, my work life balance was way better when I wasn't stuck in an office eight hours a day. My employer as a whole was only sending back a few employees back to the office and my office location was one of them that had to go back to the office. I, I was not happy about this. Um, the bigger cities, they still got to work from home, but since I work in a small, work, was working in a small town, I had to go back. And it was so infuriating. My kids were still at home from school, I should say. And I just didn't think it was fair. So I quit that job on the spot. I did find employment, however, it was at home employment. And uh, so I was kind of nervous about it. I didn't know if it was legit, all that stuff, but it was it was customer service and it was by phone and it was uh, answering calls in regards to the marketplace um, insurance. And I'm familiar with that stuff because that's the type of government work I did. So I caught on really easy, it was fine. The problem with the job was there was a lack of support. Um, I worked a lot of holidays because it was during Christmas time and I couldn't get a hold of anybody if I had questions. And so it, it got kind of messy. And so I decided it wasn't for me. And when I started doing delivering is there were other delivering services out there that I could utilize to make some money. And so I started doing Amazon flex also, um, and also DoorDash and I tried a few, I was gonna try a few others like Instacart and all that, um, just to kind of make some money. And it's reoccurring money, so a lot of them pay like right away. They'll, like if you sign up for their cards, um, they'll pay you right away, which is great. And then I can get like cash back on gas, and I go ahead and leave Amazon, and I find a new job right away. Super easy to find jobs right now, it seems like. I, I mean, maybe not for everybody, but for me, I, I can find a job pretty easily. And so for me to just not be looking for employment right now and deciding to do side hustling is kind of strange, but I'm I'm done with employers, just done right now. I'm behind a tractor right now, so I have to focus. <laughs> Why is this 
stop recording. <sighs> My thing stopped recording. So, kind of annoyed with that. I went ahead and fixed the... I moved the, um, the camera closer and then um, I'm parked right now just to make sure I got everything I, I was videoing. All right, guys, I'm not gonna like call anybody out on the last appointment that I had, but I am gonna make a few things. So like when I started the job, I was a manager's assistant and it was actually a really good job, really easy. I learned it really fast. I really enjoyed it actually, to be honest. Um, but when I transferred, I actually became property manager I had like no support and no training and I just I just got so fed up with it like even though I liked my tenants and I I liked the job overall it was like I just didn't have what I needed I didn't have the tools I needed and I just got so so depressed like I just physically was not doing well I mentally was not doing well and I just I just couldn't do it anymore and so I just quit so anyways, here we are. We're here. We're we're doing side hustling and I'm going to start doing these ride alongs and we're going to start, you know, chatting paranormal while we while I drive, while I work. Um there's a couple ways I'm going to be um continuing with self-employment. Um today we're going to DoorDash. I've done DoorDash before as I mentioned in my previous um statements and it's really easy door dashing is I like it a little bit better than I did Amazon because of the reasons I stated before um, I like getting tips tips are super nice because then I, it doesn't really give you a set pay every time and you got to be really strategic about working for DoorDash I've I have learned a lot from YouTube and those people seem to know what they're talking about and so I, you know, I followed some of their guidelines and that's how I've been able to make pretty good money. You make probably about, if you're smart about it, you can make about 15 to 20, 25 dollars. 25 is really high. So for me, 15 to 20 dollars an hour. Um, I know gas is really high, but my car is really good on gas. So I'm lucky there. So yeah, we're pretty much just going to chit chat, do some ride along, um, talk paranormal, and I'm just gonna video it. And I'm gonna be door dashing probably several days a week. Um, I also sell on eBay. Um, a lot of the stuff on eBay right now is my mother's stuff because she passed away about a year and a half ago. And her idea of paying for her funeral expenses is we can sell all her junk. Um, so she had no life insurance or anything. So even though she passed so long ago, we're still paying on that. So uh, I do sell on eBay. I've been, I, I really slacked the past year and a half on it. And so now that I have free time, I, I'm really getting focused on it again. Um, the other thing is Etsy. I have an Etsy store where I have my photography, which I did bring my camera with me today, just in case there's any photo opportunities. Um, and so I have photos up there for a digital download. And then I also have, um, oh, we got a detour. Hold on. Up, and then I have, um, digital designing is something that I've been doing, uh, creating t-shirts, hoodies, um, mugs, stuff like that. The designs for them is what I've been also creating. I'd like to, I like to work at like the peak times, which is usually the weekends and stuff like that. But however, I'm going to go ahead and work just the mornings and, and lunchtime to see what I can make on a regular basis. Just working for, you know, delivering for those who get to work those office jobs, who get to sit around and eight hours a day and let their bodies deteriorate in front of a computer. Uh, that's, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to deliver to them. <laughs> Poor people. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this here and eat my sandwich and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I just pulled up the Dasher app and I am a little annoyed. <laughs> so it says right now it's not busy hours, which is really annoying um, and that I can schedule to Dash. I hate that it does this. Um, like just let me log in and let me get, let me get going because 
90% of the time there's always an order to pick up. And so the area I'm heading to is one of my favorite areas to do during lunchtime because there's so many businesses in the area and restaurants that there's like a high potential to have orders. So right now I'm heading, it's nine o'clock. So like I said, I got a late start. If I would have started earlier, I'd already be dashing and I'd already be making money. Um, so right now I'm heading to that area. There's not a lot of breakfast there in that area and it may be slow at first. Um, however, it, it should pick up fairly, fairly quickly. So I have my Dasher app up. What will happen is it will turn pink when I can log in. I'm not going to schedule because it says I can't schedule till like 5.30 tonight. And I'm like, that's dumb. Um, there's no way that that's actually accurate. So I'm heading up to this area and I'm going to park. And once it hits pink, then I'm going to log in and I'm going to just dash for the rest of the time. And then we'll chit chat and all right guys, so I pulled up next to this Panera, um, which um, I get quite a bit orders from Panera, at least I have in the past, for um, like their bagels and whatnot. So I'm in a parking lot near it to where I can kind of sit out here and wait for it to get busy. As you can see, I'll show you here in a second. Let me, as you can see, it still says schedule which is really freaking annoying. Um, although I did see uh, there's promotions today. So they have promotions. This is in Fort Wayne where you can make uh, peak pay. So you can make extra $2 for every order you take, which I totally want to do. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it. The problem is with scheduling. Oh, now it says 1230. It said 1130. Oh, that's for tomorrow. Never mind. No, it says it's supposed to be for today. Earn an extra $2 per delivery on May 23rd, which is today. Started, oh, that's 11.30 p.m. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Okay, I was hoping it was like 11.30 lunchtime, which would be really rare to see in Fort Wayne. So I totally misread that, but that would have been awesome. So right now we're just gonna keep it running and I'm gonna plug it in. So I don't, I am at 93% battery life, so I have plenty of battery, but I just want to make sure I keep it charged. So when I decided to do this channel, I actually was planning on going ahead and like videoing for a couple days and then uploading. Now this first video I have a feeling is going to be really long, so I think today's video is going to get uploaded um, with only today and then from here on out we'll we'll add in a couple days per video um, to talk about everything paranormal talk about my life talk about me talk about whatever we want I mean this is just a ride along this is just let's hang out let's chat okay so I just got a notification that it's expected to get busy at 9 30 so I'm gonna go ahead and save the dash to see if I can pick up some deliveries starting at 9.30. It's 9.16 right now. I went and refreshed my app. So hopefully we can start uh, getting busy and I can start picking up some orders. Okay guys, I just got notified that I can dash now even though it's not 9.30 yet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and agree to the new terms. I haven't dashed since December, so there must have been new terms. And we just got our first order. Um, that was really, fast and that's not a bad deal so I'll just show you what it looks like here it gives you like 30 seconds to decide um it's uh three items at Arby's for 650 2.5 miles that's not terrible because you want to kind of make it like 50 cents per mile so you want to pay attention to that so let's go ahead and we'll get ready to go and we'll go do our first order um it's not the first order I've ever done but we'll get on the road so Arby's is open, but only through the drive-thru, as you can see. So um, I went through the drive-thru and they told me to pull over by the double door. So we're going to sit here for a minute until the order's ready. So they do, they do give you an option on here on the Dash app to, if you're waiting for the order or at the bottom, you can put uh, some type of reason and I always do this as soon as I pull in somewhere and I find out that I'm waiting on somebody's order I always do this so some of the options are stores busy or there's a long line 
Um, order not started until I arrived. Order still being prepared when I arrived. Could not get help from the store employee, drive through busy, or something else. I'm going to go ahead and mark that order still being prepared when I arrived and go ahead and submit that. That actually lets the um, customer know that they're waiting and why it's taking me so long. Because um, I was supposed to pick this up at 924, so that was five minutes ago. Looks like she's coming now. Hi. There you Thank go. you so much. Good day. You too. Okay, so now we can go. I got the order. Um, I always check to see if there's any drinks every time I get an order on the, because it does, not always, but a lot of the times it will tell you um, what they ordered. And most of these restaurants seal the bags, which I'm thankful for. I don't want anybody thinking I stole their food or anything. So they seal the bag. Um, so now I'm gonna head to the location, which is only two miles away. And I didn't have any drinks, so it's just one bag, super easy order. It looks like um, a place down, down by Lima. Um, it's gonna be probably somebody who's working. That's why I like to go, like I said, up in this area at this time, because it's always people who are working. I don't have to worry about dogs. I don't have to worry about uh, residential areas. I can just come here, deliver food for people who are, are working and can't get out and get their own lunches or their own breakfast and, you know, help them out while, while helping myself out. So thankfully from doing DoorDash in the past, I've learned where re many of the restaurants are up here. Um, so it's really easy for me to find the, where I'm going. I know a lot of the street names now because of delivering. It's, it's, it takes time. If you're not from this area, it takes time to kind of get to know the city, where you're going. Um, I know that I don't, one area I don't like to deliver or pick up is downtown. Parking down there sucks and I'm not about to pay for parking. Um, that just adds into my profit while I do door dashing. So that's not something I, I want to get into. So I always try to avoid the downtown area. You can make some pretty good money downtown because there are some really nice restaurants down there. Um, delivering down there, the people who live down there actually uh, work in some pretty nice areas or pretty nice places. Um, so they might make a little bit more money. So. I mean, door dashing is not terrible if you don't mind fighting with traffic and uh, finding parking spots. Okay, guys, the first delivery is done. As you've seen, it's actually at a hotel, so I don't know if it was for work or not. I did already get another delivery. I'm going to not accept it. I'm going to decline it. It's three dollars for three miles. It's about a dollar a mile. I'm not interested in that. Um, so it is going to start picking up here soon, I'm sure. It kind of gets busy, drops off, gets busy, drops off. It may slow down right before lunchtime, um, but we're not too far from from the busy area, so I try to pick orders that aren't gonna take me out of my way. Okay, I just had an order for two mi 2.6 miles, 450. Um, it's going back to the area I'm heading to anyway, so I'm gonna accept it. It's for McDonald's, and we'll head that way. Oh my God, that took forever. I It was a business, but it was like, uh, I don't know what kind of business you would call it. Um, so the guy had to call him because front desk didn't know who it was and so figured it out but I was blocking traffic with, with where I parked. So what, we're gonna, so what I'm gonna do guys it's like 10 o'clock. Um, I've only made like a whopping 11 bucks because I got a late start. So a half hour made 11 bucks. I mean that's not terrible in a half hour. So I'm gonna drive back over here. I'm gonna Stop videoing for a short period of time so I can get focused on this money making and I'll be back. We'll see you then guys. Alright guys, it's about noon. We did get busy. Um, 
So I've been busy, busy, busy at a light. I've been at this stoplight like five times today already. <laughs> Cause like I said, I'm just hanging out in this area because this is gonna be the best area for today. Um, due to several reasons, it's Monday. Um, so I'm ready to do another delivery. This is probably, I don't know, my sixth delivery this morning. So it's pretty good. Um, a couple things I was thinking about um, is everybody's like posting about currently how they've been feeling, their mental health, whatever. Everybody, everybody blames it on um, Mercury retrograde, but I feel like every other day is Mercury is Mercury retrograde day because everybody's posting about it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just, I want to make a point here because, because a lot of people are really suffering right now mentally. Um, a lot of people are suffering depression, all that. Life has been kind of hectic the past couple of years, as you all know, but, um, things are turning around and it's becoming like normal again. Um, I noticed it now just by door dashing and like when I door dashed back in December and prior to that last year. I couldn't get in in a lot of the restaurants and every single restaurant except for the first one I was able to get into so far. So things are changing. Um, it's not like the pandemic went away. It's just how much, you know, precaution we're taking is a lot less. So, so yeah. Um, so I'm doing another delivery and I just, you know, want to let everybody know, Hey, hang in there because you got this guys. I mean, you got this seriously. It could be worse. could be a lot worse. And, uh, you can't always blame it on the stars and stuff. Although the energy of the moon and all that typically does mess with our emotions. Um, so I wouldn't, I just wouldn't blame it all on that, you know? So, but yeah, I just wanted to make that comment while I was out for this one delivery. And so I hope everybody starts feeling better. I mean, the sun's shining, get out, get you some vitamin D's, get that sun, you know, enjoy it. I mean, we don't get a lot of nice warm weather. We get cold weather or we get hot weather and today's beautiful so definitely get out and enjoy it while you can guys that was my last order for the day um I worked technically my dash so they have dash time and then they have active time so when you're just sitting waiting for orders it's called um dash time but active times when you're actually doing orders so dash time was four and a half hours active time was three hours and 15 minutes so I wasted an hour in 15 minutes just sitting around that's one thing I hate about this DoorDash business is like you have to set a certain time so that hour and 15 minutes was probably during the breakfast lunch time which is fine um, but I did make $73 today so like I said if I was only working like three hours ish so it's twenty twenty five dollars for today so which is pretty cool um so I'm done dashing for today I'm going to probably go home and put this video together and like 
this would be the first video of the ride along little series I'm doing right now. Um, we may continue to do it. We are, like I said, going to, we are going to talk more paranormal in the upcoming days. Today is just kind of a let's try this out day and see how it goes. Um, so things went really well today. It's still beautiful outside. I still got plenty of time in my day. So I'm going to go home, spend some time with my babies and, and just live life. You know? Feel free to subscribe, like it, whatever you want to do, just so that I know if you like this content or not. If you don't like it, let me know. I, I am okay with criticism as long as you're not a jerk about it. That's all that I ask is don't be a jerk guys. Um, but other than that, I do, I do hope everybody has such a great and awesome work week. I hope it goes well for everybody and I'll see you at the next one.